Alright, I'm going to show you a neat little card trick and how to do it. You're going to, oh, excuse me, you're going to need two people. You're going to take the deck, have one of them cut off a section of cards, put that to the side. You can have them hold it. Go up to the next person, you ask them to pick a card out wherever they want. So let's say they pick that one. Okay. So I'm not going to look at it. I'm going to use the camera here. And you see there's no pictures on there. So we're going to hold it like this. Take a picture. And then you're going to put the card back in. Just always put it in right here. Okay. We're going to put the camera on top of these cards so that I can't touch them. You would have the person sit on them, put them in their pocket, whatever. So this person over here, you're going to have them deal cards until they feel like stopping. Okay, so they stop right there. Okay, so you're going to say, take this card right here. That's a seven. Now just to show you, they got a king and a five, you know. So we're just going to put that on top, because that is going to show us where this card is. So I'm going to pull this card, uh, this deck out. You have them deal seven cards onto the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take a look at that card. The Jack of Diamonds. So let's look at this. So I'm going to push that button. And lo and behold. Yep. It is the Jack of Diamonds. Now, how this works is very simple. You take all the sevens and all the sixes out of your deck. Okay? Then you put a card, one of them, card, one of them, card, six or seven. So you just basically alternate them all the way down. Now you put this on top of that pile. And you're set. So when you have them pull off about half the deck, that goes over there. This person's going to pick a card at random. Okay, I'm just going to use the joker here. Now, as they're looking, now you can do it two ways. You can either, one, pull off six cards, so you can do like three and three. You just kind of, you know, pull those off the side, you know, pick any card you want. You know, just keep these separate. Or, you can have them pick a card, and then say, okay, we're just going to put it in that deck, let's just say right there. You know, so there's six cards. So their card is number seven. So you put those on top, you have them sit on it, put it in their pocket, whatever. Over here, you know, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna reverse these real quick so you can see. And you tell them deal until you feel like stopping. Now it's very important that they don't really go past that, and there's a way you can kind of control that. So in your mind, you're saying no, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. If they stop here, you pull, pick that card. If they stop, if they do something like this, you pick the card from their hand. And what really works tiny is you say, okay, this is the card we're going to use. Now look, that was a nine. That's a queen. So it kind of shows randomly. Now you'll notice they got about three more chances to do this. Now, if you notice, they're going like this, and they go past it. You know, it's very easy to just let them keep going and screw it all up. Or, you can say, you really didn't feel like any of them at now. Here, here, I'll tell you what. Now, you got to remember, now it's on the bottom. So now you say, I'll tell you what, we'll do it like this. Okay. Whenever you feel like telling me to stop. Okay. 
most people will stop pretty soon, though. So let's go over there. So let's say we got a 7. So you know their card is number 7. So you can have them deal out 6 cards. And there's their card. You can have them deal out 7 cards. And it's the last card. Okay? You can do, you know, do the... Seventh card down. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, however you want to do the reveal. 